Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online Casino Heist DLC video. My name is Saints Fan, and today I have, I think, somewhat of a real helpful video if you're still playing the casino heist. If you're trying to play the heist to make money, then this video is going to be perfect. Now, some of you guys may know some of these uh, tips and tricks, maybe by just playing through the heist, because some of them are kind of obvious, but in this video, I will show you guys about seven or eight essential things to do in the casino heist to make it so freaking easy. Now, the first tip that I have for you guys is actually how you want to go about the heist. You have the three options. You have the stealthy approach, you have the guns blazing approach, and then you have the undercover disguise approach. And the approach that I think is the easiest because you literally get into the vault without doing anything is by using the big con approach. More specifically, the group sec entrance approach. You dress up as the armored truck people and they literally, the, like, they literally just let you get into the vault without having to kill anyone or do anything. You just have to watch like two cutscenes, and you're good to go. And the best part is that you don't even need to drill into the vault. You don't need to blow up the vault. They, the NPC lets you into the vault. So the group sec big con approach is by far the easiest to get into the the vault, uh, the casino vault. Now, as far as some other things, I think the number one thing you need to do in this heist is destroy the Duggan shipments. There's an optional part of the uh, of the heist prep that says destroy the Duggan shipments. And if you don't, the heist is just insanely hard. You thought the Doomsday heist people were hard to kill. This is like on another level. You can literally, sh you're, you have to shoot the NPCs for like six seconds before they die. And meanwhile, they can shoot you while you're shooting them. It's, it's the stupidest thing of all time. And honestly, it's so easy to destroy the Duggan shipments. You can do it solo. It does require pretty much the full 10 minutes it gives you. There are 10 uh, shipments you have to destroy. If you're using no pressure mark too, you can pretty easily do it. If you're doing it with friends, then obviously that goes even quicker. But 100% do that because if you do that and destroy their shipments, they don't have armor and they only have like little pistols that they can shoot you with. So it's very easy to kill the NPCs when you've destroyed all of their equipment. Honestly, if you don't take anything else away from this video, that's like the one thing you should take away. The fact that you should destroy the shipments. It's pretty much a necessity to make your life way easier. Now, another thing to make this heist way easier is to get artwork as what you're trying to target from the vault. There are three vault contents at the moment. You have cash, you have gold, and you have artwork. And with cash and gold, it takes quite a while to fill up like your bag and to get it all because you have to pick up every single thing of cash and the same thing for gold. You have to pick up each individual bar, which just takes a while. Artwork, though, you only have like five or six of them, and it takes like five seconds, maybe 10 seconds, if that, to take the artwork off the wall. So if you want to go quicker and have this be more efficient, get the artwork. And the way you can do that is by when you're scouting out, like when you're first starting the heist and you're scouting out the, the vault contents, if you don't get artwork or if you don't get what you want, then simply call Lester, cancel the heist. It'll cost you $25,000. You'll lose the setup cost, but you can just re-scope out the vault again, and you keep doing that until you get what you want. I got gold in the video, but you can do this until you get the artwork, and it'll just make your life way easier. Now, when you're inside of the heist and you're trying to escape, a lot of people always buy snacks and stuff to like replenish their health, but there's actually a much easier way to replenish your health for free. Granted, snacks are free, but they're kind of annoying because you have to go into your interaction menu and all that. Simply have the the heist, uh, the host of the heist, have him become a CEO and then go ahead and start up the heist. And when you're inside of the uh, the building, all you have to do to replenish your health to full is stand next to your CEO. So you stand next to the host and then go into cover. And you can kind of see at the bottom, I only had a little health missing, but it, it went all the way up. And I'll do it again. Granted, I'm outside now. You'll see 
on the mini map when we're outside, he has the CEO circle. Now, for some reason, that doesn't get shown on the mini map when you're in the actual casino, but it still works. So you just go into cover near your CEO, uh, your head CEO, and you'll, your health will replenish fully. So that's so helpful if you are having trouble getting through the heist. Now, as far as leaving, there's multiple different exit strategies you have. But honestly, for me, I found the easiest one to be the waste tunnels. Now, the way or, or where you find the waste tunnels, when you're back like in the main room of the casino, like vault area, securities, office area, you're going to want to head to the right through the metal detectors and there's a little door there. Simply just go out that door and where it'll put you is sort of in between the casino and then the horse track. And there's like only like four, if that, uh, noose members over here. So you can just run along the backside of the casino to your getaway cars and you, you won't get shot as much if you went out a different way because there's only a couple of new spawns. Now, these final two tips that are essential for making this heist way easier have to do with escaping. Don't make the mistake I did and forget to put bulletproof tires on your car. I forgot to put bulletproof tires on my cars and it is, it's so dumb. I mean, granted, yeah, we're in the snow, so it makes it even harder to drive. But the cops will pop your tires out and then you can't drive. And it's so difficult to try and get control and try and out, you know, escape a three or four star wanted level. So just make sure you go into your like into the arcade underground part. Go inside of the two or of the getaway cars that you've chosen and upgrade them at least to level one. The final tip, though. And this honestly makes escaping the cops so much easier. You almost don't even need to buy the extra things like the uh, the getaway cars or the uh, the clean getaway car or the NPC that sort of helps you lose the cops. Because all you need to do is the second you come out of the, the casino heist or the casino and you're trying to escape, find the train tracks. If you're selling up north to the highest buyer, the train tracks pretty much go to where they the sellers are the you know the people are so just follow the train tracks and you'll lose the cops in no time because the cops for whatever reason they don't go on the train tracks and maybe you'll have to watch out for the uh, the helicopters but if you find like a tunnel where the train tracks go you just hide in there for a minute or two you'll lose the stars and you can easily go to the seller to complete the heist that's made my life so much easier trying to escape the cops i don't even worry about the cops i just make make it a point to get to the train tracks as fast as possible and i know i'll be fine so that is about seven or eight essential things i think that you need to do to make this heist so easy once you do these things and once you start doing these things honestly you'll be completing this heist so quickly and you might actually start making a lot more money so uh, hopefully that video helps hopefully you guys enjoy if you guys have any other little tips and tricks let us know in the comment section down below but thank you all for watching as always i'll see you guys in the next one